Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. And today, man, this set came out back in what, February? It's been so long, I have no idea why I haven't done a review yet. But here is set number 40559, the Roadrunner and Wiley Coyote Brickhead set. These are Brickheads number 161 and 162. This set has 205 pieces and retails for $19.99 USD or $20. No idea if that's going to be going up or not with the new price increases from lego but right now that is the standard for the brickheads two-pack design and this set is honestly quite interesting i would have really expected them to go with a bugs bunny and daffy duck two-pack prior to introducing the roadrunner and wily coyote just because it seems bugs bunny has that more iconicness and that more you know marketable lego design however i'm really happy with these choices as the roadrunner was my personal favorite character from looney tunes so i'm really happy to finally have him in brickheads form the Roadrunner character is built incredibly interestingly with some really great parts usage. I love this new kind of blue color. I know it's not new, but it's kind of rare in this specific coloring and all these pieces. There's also a lot of rare purple pieces as well. It's kind of not the most common to see those used in Lego sets. The character does have a posable tail, which you can position up and down, which is nice and adds a lot to the display. Aside from that, there are no other movable parts or prints on this character, aside from the Brickhead's eyes. The character doesn't really need any prints. I can't really think of anything that would have you know, made the character any better. He does also have three stud long feet, much like the witch brick head we saw from a couple years ago. I love the purple wing designs. I think those work incredibly well. And the character has a very large feathered head up top to kind of give the appeal of the plume on top. It's very interesting they went purple for this design as on the minifigure version of this character, it's dark blue. So it's really interesting to see how they decide to change that for this. The beak design is very nice. And I like how it continues around the side of the head, making it look comical and much larger than normal. And that like really works for the Looney Tunes stylistic character. This character also has the exact same head design as Nagini, that being a single built head attached to the Technic pin to the base of the neck, so it doesn't have to have the whole human design for the shoulders and everything. Makes the character look a lot more animal-like, which is necessary for both snakes and this Roadrunner bird creature. Aside from that, there's not really too much else to say for him. He's a very simple design character, but I mean, simple is better. I mean, it's a pretty much basic animated character. There's not too much detail you could add. I'm not the biggest fan of the studs exposed in the back here. I wish that was maybe tiled off. But aside from that, I mean, everything looks great. And I can't think of any way you could really improve this character. The Wily e. Coyote doesn't look quite right to me. And I think that's down from the fact that he's not grinning or he doesn't look like evil or bad enough. He's a very simplistic looking character, which works, but he doesn't have that kind of devilish, lanky, lean grimace to him. And he looks too nice. Aside from that, though, he is a pretty good character. His ears theoretically have a bit of uh, movement up top, but if you move it too much, the whole thing will just break and the side of his head comes off. So you're mostly supposed to just leave those sticking straight off at the top. He also has a posable tail, much like the Roadrunner. You can position that up or down, but it doesn't really do much for display. The character does have two hands, which you can attach uh, sticks of dynamite to if you want. I think it's a missed opportunity to give him a dynamite accessory that would have made this set so much better, but it's a shame LEGO didn't go for that. Would have also really nice to get me like an Acme printed crate or something, but hey, maybe next time. The character has a very well positioned snout, like it's really well designed, like the button nose up front, and the way the cheek the cheeks kind of puff out and then curve back in just makes him look much more accurate and very cartoon like. Again, much like the Roadrunner, this character has no prints aside from the brickhead's eyes, which is honestly to be expected. I do like how they did the kind of curve pieces up top to give him like larger, leaner eyes, and then the eyebrows as well. I don't know if it's eyebrows just fur designs, but that works reasonably well too. It's got some pretty good chest designs there, maybe a little bit of printing to show like some tufts of fur or something the center could have worked but it's ultimately not necessary and he just has the traditional brickhead's feet no fancy extra legs or claws or anything like that the character is much more simple than i would have maybe liked i definitely think it's missing something although i don't really know what if you guys know please let me know in the comment section down below Here's the box, and I honestly really love this. The Looney Tunes logo looks great in the lower corner here, and then we have the Roadrunner almost dead center in the circle with all the lines radiating out from him, which just automatically like draws your eye directly to this bright colorful character. The lines are all pointing to him. And it's a really great advertising technique. And then off to the side here, we have the Wily e. Coyote, the villain kind of put off to the side, not the main focus. It's really, really great branding and advertising. Box. And they use the Roadrunner's beat to get the actual size comparison. Then on the back of the box, we have the characters kind of attached to their stands. And then this time it's the Wily e. Coyote that's in uh, focus and all your attention is drawn to him, giving each character their own time to shine. And then here's what the two characters look like in in, uh, I was about to say live action, but in animation form. And then, of course, the front of the box once more. 
Much like you'd expect with this set, there are two different instruction manuals, one for each of the two characters. The first one is the Roadrunner. Opening it up, it's got the progress bar with just a stud, no character design, which is pretty interesting. Then it's just a basic instruction manual, advertisement for this set on the back, the parts list, and then nothing else. It's very simple, very basic. The Wild Lake Coyote has the Windman on the back, no parts list, no advertisements. They're very basic, very simple instruction manuals, as you'd expect from the Burkhead's line. I'd have to say that this set is a very sizable and solid addition to the Lego Brickheads line. Both characters are incredibly cute, although I don't think the Wily e. Coyote necessarily captures the source material perfectly. The Roadrunner is 100% perfect in my opinion. I'll give the set a solid 7 out of 10. I think the Roadrunner is perfect, and the Wily e. Coyote could have just used a few minor improvements, but aside from that, I would wholeheartedly recommend this set. For $20, it's definitely worth it, and these are going to look great on the shelf. Fingers are crossed that hopefully at some point we get a Bugs Bunny character, but aside from that, I can't think of anyone else who would really fit the Burkhead's like, line and everything from the Looney Tunes theme. That's all I got for you guys today. Make sure to leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a fantastic and safe rest of your day. I'll catch you all in the very next video.